Hey everybody, Game Scribble back here with you, and today we are back in the world of Skyrim with another episode of The Temptress. I believe this is episode number eight as we continue to build uh, the Temptress character. This is a pretty cool character. Assassin, sneaky illusion, bow. You know, it's the typical sneaky illusion archer assassin. Always fun to play. I'll have a complete video on the build after we finish the series, which only should be a couple more videos. We'll be done with this series and we can move on to another build. Without further ado, let, let us get into what's going to happen in this episode. All right, so we have another quest from the Jarl, and it's to kill the giant located at Golden Rock. And we're going to do that first in this episode. And the reason we're going to do that is because we want the Bounty Perk Point. Uh, one of the mods that we're using is Bounty Perk Points. And that's going to give us an extra perk point for completing uh, any of those missions from the Jarl. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to get our extra Bounty Perk. And um, I'll show you where we're going to put it. All right, let's recap the skills and perks that the Temptress has so far. Now, we are currently level 39. In between the last episode and this episode, we uh, crafted some stuff, we enchanted some stuff, we sold some stuff, we bought some stuff, we did a whole bunch of stuff to grind our level up. We also did some training. Every time we leveled up, we went somewhere and did some training. We did some illusion training, we did some sneak training. Uh, so as you can see, our illusion is now level 100, which is awesome. And... We have all of the perks except for one, Master Illusion. Uh, we can cast Master Illusion spells for half magicka as soon as we put a perk point here. Uh, but we're not going to do that yet because in order to get the Master Illusion spells, we need to do a quest. And we are not going to do that quest in this episode. All right, our alteration is at 40. And the next perk that we're going to get in alteration is level two armor or, or level two magic resistance. And that requires a level 50 alteration. So we're going to keep grinding alteration uh, as we go into battle. We'll spam our stone flesh spells to raise our alteration. Uh, but no changes to alteration at this point. All right, enchanting has changed. We are up to level 91. We are getting close to 100 enchanting, and every single one of our perk points in enchanting has gone into this main enchanter uh, skill. We are four out of five. We could put that up to five out of five when we get our next uh, perk point. Uh, we will probably not do that with our next perk point, but eventually we are gonna get five out of five in enchanter. And eventually we are going to go up this middle tree here to get to the extra effect perk where we can have two enchantments on the same item. All right, another change is in the smithing category. We are now up to 82. And we have put our perk points going around the left side of the tree, which is the light armor side, which is what we're using in this build. But one thing that I do want to do is I need to get the Daedric smithing perk. I need to get to level 90 uh, and get the Daedric Smithing perk because the end game armor that the Temptress is going to use is one of the mods that we have, which is Royal Daedric Armor. And it is a light version of Daedric Armor uh, that looks pretty badass. And that's what she's going to wear for her end game armor. Uh, so I'm going to need to get this Daedric Smithing perk so that we can craft that armor for her to wear. All right, archery is up to level 70 now. Uh, and that's pretty exciting because that's our main weapon. As you can see, we have 4 out of 5 in overdraw. We need level 80 in order to go 5 out of 5 in overdraw. We need to get up to level 90 in order to get critical shot 3 out of 3, which would be a 15% chance of critical hits that do 25% more critical damage. That is definitely a good perk to get. We've gone up to Hunter's Discipline, which we actually really didn't need to do that because we aren't going to be running out of arrows. So this was kind of a wasted perk point. Uh, thinking back on it, I shouldn't have put a perk point here. The next perk that you get is Ranger in this side of the skill tree, and we're not going to need that either 
because we're hidden in the shadows. We're a sneaky assassin, you know, archer that uses illusion. So we're not going to be out in the open and running around with our bow. So this perk is not something that we're interested in either. We are interested in the quick shot perk. It means you can draw a bow 30% faster. That's always nice to have. Uh, and that is a segue into the last perk, which is Bullseye. And Bullseye is a perk where you get a 15% chance of paralyzing the target for a few seconds. And we definitely want that. And that's going to require our archery skill to be at 100. Light armor skill remains at 31. And we have not put any perk points there yet. And we probably won't uh, in the lower levels of this build because the perk points are needed in other places. And a big change for us here, our sneak is now up to level 100. And we have filled out the perk tree. We have five out of five in stealth. And we've gone up the right side here, except we didn't get Assassin's Blade because we're not using daggers. So that perk is not very good for us because we're using bows. Now coming up the left side of the tree, we have Muffled Movement, we have Light Foot, we got Silent Roll, we just picked up the Silence perk, which means walking and running does not affect detection. Now these perks don't really matter that much because we have the Muffle spell, but we really want to get to Shadow Warrior, which means if we do get noticed, then we could crouch and it stops combat for a moment and force... Uh, forces the opponents to search for us so with this next perk that we get when we kill this giant we are going to put that perk point in shadow warrior all right so that's a recap of all the perks and the skills that we have of course we have our same armor and weapons so without further ado let's go kill ourselves a giant if this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you have been here before, then welcome back. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. Got some good content coming out. Got some plans for another Skyrim series. Uh, we're going to have the Skyrim build a recap of the Temptress as soon as this uh, series is done. And I have got a really exciting uh, role play series planned for uh, Skyrim coming out right after this is done. I'm going to have a whole new load order with all new mods. It's going to be really exciting. So subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you, that you're notified of all the content coming out. I got an XCOM series I just started. And also I'm thinking about starting a Mass Effect Let's Play. Starting a Mass Effect 1 and going all the way through to Mass Effect 3. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment down below. All right, here we are. We fast travel to uh, Hunting Broom Eatery. It just gets us closer to um, Golden Rock. And to get there, we just gotta cross this bridge and go kill ourselves a giant. Now it's raining, as you can see, and there's a storm a-brewing. Uh, hopefully, it won't cause too much of a problem with the uh, recording here because sometimes those thunder cracks are loud. And look at that. Is that a wolf? That's a wolf up there. Let's go ahead and get our bow. All right, actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put oak flesh in our left hand and we are going to put wither in our right hand. That's a uh, spell that will help us. We're going to piss that wolf off so we can spam our flesh spell. All right, here we go. Oh. We missed him. Oh, shit. Alright, there we go. Alteration has increased. We're in combat, so we can spam the shit out of our flesh spell. Our goal is to level up our alteration. Alright, we're spamming it. Where'd that wolf go? Hey, wolf. What's up? Now, we don't want to kill the wolf. We can just sit here and spam this uh, alteration spell. And look, our alteration has leveled up to f 42. And we've leveled up. That is awesome. And that thunder is not so awesome. Jeez. Alright, wolf. Let's get him again. Bam. Get him with some more wither. Piss him off some more. Come on, wolf. Let's just spam this. He can't really do a whole lot of damage to us. Alright, but we are out of magicka. Now let's go ahead and put him out of his misery. Sorry, wolf. 
Yep. All right. Bye bye. Here you go. All right. Back to Golden Rock or the tra uh oh. Okay. We're gonna quick save here. I don't know who this person is up ahead of us. Oh boy. Hi. Vacation is where the head is. That is what Dervenin told us about our master. He's the master has gone, but Dervenin will find him. Dervenin should not have gone. What the hell is she talking about? Vacation is where the head is. That is what Dervenin told us about our master. He's cozy in his solitude. All right, so something about solitude and Dervenin. I don't know. All right. Oh, maybe it has to do with the blue palace and Pelagia's wing. I don't know. Whatever. See ya. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait 24 hours and hopefully this rain and thunder and shit will go away. It'll make it a little bit easier for us to record. All right, would you look at that? It's magic. It's morning time. No rain. Yay. I mean, this is beautiful, isn't it? The sun's coming out. All right, let's go kill this freaking giant here and get ourselves an extra perk point. What the hell is that? Are you kidding me? You son of a bitch. You know what? We're going to do the same thing. Hit him with some wither. Oh, we missed him. Hit him with some wither. Let's spam these flesh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Rats in a tree. What the fuck? Holy shit. We need to get the hell out of here. All right. You know, I'm not screwing around anymore. Punch this rat. I'll punch him in his rat face. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got a troll. I don't want to mess around with this. I mean, trolls will kill you. We just need to keep him on the other side. Look, he's stuck on a rock. We can spam this flesh spell. Raise up her altar. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here he comes. Jump. Oh, we gotta run. We gotta run. He's not messing around. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's hit him with a little pacify. Oh, yeah. How about some of that troll? Big troll bitch. Ah. Goochie, goochie, goo. Hello, troll. Okay. Uh, gosh, what should we do with him? I feel like we should, like, torture him somehow. Oh, we got a frenzy rune. Now he's pissed. <laughs> uh, sorry, troll. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, you missed. You suck, troll. All right, let's run. Oh, we are messing with this troll. I got an idea. Let's get him with some wither. All right, we got him with some wither. So he's not going to be as strong. And we need to get some stone flesh going. He's also going to slow down a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a saber tooth cat. Shit. Oh man, we are screwing ourselves royally here. Oh yeah. That's right. Get him. Oh my god. We are oh god, the saber cat killed the troll. And we oh, we got to kill the saber cat. Oh my god. Oh, we got him. Oh, damn, that was close. Okay. Oh, shit. We cannot be screwing around like this. That is really annoying. Did you just scream in my face? Don't ever scream in my face. Jerk. Alright, the giants are right up on the top of this hill. And I'm a little nervous about doing this by myself. Usually I have a follower with me that I can uh, use at my expense to go mess with these giants. All right, we're going to go into sneak mode because that's what we're good at. All right, there's one giant. He's got an arrow over his head, so that's the one we have to kill. The question is, can we get these two giants to fight amongst themselves? Here we go. Oh, he's too powerful for Frenzy. Son of a bitch. Oh, now they're pissed. Damn it. They're coming for us. Hey, you know what spell we have? We have invisibility. I forgot about that. Now they can't see us. Oh my god, what the hell was that? I was invisible. You jerk. Alright, spam our flesh spell. Spam our flesh spell. Alright, it's time to pull out the bow. Here we go. That giant is running away. Come here, you puss. Ah, damn it. Where'd the other giant go? Alright, what the hell is going on here? Is these giants really just running away from me? Here he is. Okay. Alright, let's put an arrow in his ass. Oh my god. Sneak attack. Three times damage. Look at that. 
Oh, we just one shot at a giant. Our enchantments are pretty awesome. Where's this other giant at? He's over here somewhere. Here he is. Let's just one shot him too. What the hell? Hi. Oh shit, we just pissed him off. Oh god. Oh god, run. Oh god. Here he comes. Oh! Oh, we shot him right in his ding ding. Oh man, he gone. A petrified Spriggan heart. Wow, let's take it. All right, we killed the giant. We got to go back to Dragon's Reach and get our perk point. Let's go. All right, here we are back at Dragon's Reach. Hello. All right, we're going to turn this quest into Preventisis. Hey, what's up, man? Hi. Divines bless you. May the Thank ground you. you walk quake as you pass. Well, thanks. Okay, the giant at Golden Rock is dead. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Thank you. Here is your reward. Cool. All right, 100 gold. Awesome. All right, more importantly, let us stop. We're going to level up, and then we should have two perk points. All right, magic is at 270, health 250, stamina 160. We don't really need to put much more in our health because we are going to be a sneaky archery illusion, you know, assassin person. So we're going to put it in magicka. All right, perk point number one. We're going to put it at the top of the sneak skill tree. Here it is, shadow warrior. Bam. All right, the second perk point, I believe we are going to put that into enchanting. And we're going to have five out of five in enchanting. Because we need to really start taking this build and going up the center. So one, two, three. We need three more, three more perk points. Uh, and we need to raise our enchanting to level 100, which is not going to be hard to do. We are this close. Uh, we can grind out uh, some uh, crafting and enchanting. But we need three more perk points in order to make enchanting what we need it to be. Going up that middle line, getting to the extra effect perk. All right, so what we need to do is we need to check with the innkeeper down here to see if she has another quest for us. Hello. Don't mind us. All right, let's see. Hey, what's happening? All right, now she doesn't have any quests for work, so it means that we have to come back later. All right, there's another place that you can look for a, um, a quest from the Jarl, like a bounty quest, and that's at the Drunken Huntsman up here. Let's see if he's got anything for us. Hello, friend. In the market for some Oh, here we go. Who should I talk to for work? Try Holder, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. Okay, well, she didn't have any work. check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. What All right, while we're here... Never mind. I don't want to know. We're going to see what he's got for sale. Wow, he's got a glass bow of typhoons. That is awesome. We need to put this enchantment on our bow. The wind damage, it's so much more fun than shock or fire or anything because it has a chance to uh, blow your targets away, which is really fun. Thank you very much for your business. All right, he doesn't really have anything that insane. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, so let's take a look at our quest. We're going to continue in the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Astra's is given our first major contract. We need to go to Markarth and talk to Muri in the Hag's Cure. Let's go ahead and take this on. All right, because we haven't discovered Markarth yet, we need to take a carriage. What's up, Bajorlam? Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Markarth. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Take me straight to Markarth. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Cool. All right, Bajorlam. You'd best hurry it up. Oh, you know, you best hurry it up. Don't you tell me to hurry up, you jerk. All right, it is nighttime here at Markarth. It is 2.56 a.m. Let's go into the city here. All right, we have discovered Markarth. It's about 3 in the morning. What the hell? What is happening here? What are these glowing things? And where's the cutscene? Need something? Yeah, I need to know. He was after Margaret. This. Why? He was after Margaret. Oh, here we go. Oh shit. Wow, the market's in a different spot. Usually it's right here in the center of the city here. 
But this mod, I guess Divine Cities, puts the market right here. Look at this. Alright, well let's get the hell out of here. Now this guy's gonna come give us a quest. God, a woman attacked right on the streets. Yeah. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? Uh, I was right there. He almost killed me. I'm so sorry. I hope the eight give you more peace in the future. Yeah, me too. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Oh. Looks nope. important. Uh, I didn't. It's your note? I didn't drop anything. My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. I don't have pockets, man. Do you know anything about this no. attack? I was just getting some fresh air. Had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Oh, well, okay. Take care of yourself. Don't drive. Don't All drink right, and then. drive. Okay, all right. All right, let's take a look at this note. Hey, meet me at the Shrine of Talos. All right, so that gives us a new quest. We're not really interested in that right now. What we are interested in is talking to this lady right here. Why are you looking at me like that? Because the Dark Brotherhood has come. The Dark Brotherhood? Oh, oh, I... My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked? Yeah, obviously. Now tell me what you need. What I need? What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. Oh. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. By Sithis, I need details. Get to the point. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. It will be done. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. Oh, I'm listening. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. Sweet. Alright, tell me the full story. Why do you want Elaine dead? I went to Windhelm to see the Shattershields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning, Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern, while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family, in their grief, and rob them blind. Elaine used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of... monster. Elaine Dufont took my life, and now I'm taking his. And Nilsine Shadowshield? Why does she have to die? Don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova, a sister to Nilsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No, they treated me like garbage, threw me away. With Nilsine dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. Damn, that is sadistic as shit. I'm on it. Make them all pay for what they've done to me. Oh, you bet I will. That's awesome. Sweet. The Temptress loves chaos and loves nothing more than killing people. Because of really, really shallow reasons. Isn't there some business you should be tending to? Oh, wow. Hey, all right, Miri. Back off there, lady. I can put an arrow right in your buttocks. All right, so we got some killing to do. I say we go to Windhelm. All right, so here we are in Windhelm. Uh, we can kill this lady first, or we can go kill Elaine. I don't know. I say we go kill the lady first. Come on in. 
let me know if you need anything or take a this seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Okay, yeah, I don't need anything. Just walk around looking at stuff. All right, let's find this lady. Oh, she's up here. All right, there she is. How are we going to kill her? We're the children of sky. I mean, there are a bunch of people in this room. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, maybe we could turn invisible and shoot over in there. Oh, my. Hi. Man, there are too many people here. I think we have to follow her. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, she's leaving. She's leaving. Let's follow her. All right, there she goes. So we have to come up with a plan. All right, we have a spell that's a frenzy rune. I feel like we could cast it on, and she could walk into it. Let's quick save. All right, we have the frenzy rune. It's equipped. Where's she going? All right, we're going to turn invisible. All right, we're in sneak mode. Now we are going to cast this rune right here. Yeah, then no killer. Sweet! Oh my god, they totally killed her. Did we get a bounty for that? Oh god, I hope we didn't get a bounty for that. Let's see. Oh please, god, I hope we didn't get a bounty. Hi! Do, 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 do. Hello, everybody. Oh, what happened here? Wow. Oh my goodness, it looks like somebody died. I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. Okay, great. How did she die? Jeez, that's a shame. Wow, we certainly didn't want her dead. Did you see what happened? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Suck it. And that is awesome. That's what being an illusionist assassin is all about right there. Now let's go kill this other dude. All right, let's go find this guy, Elaine Dufont. Let's look at our map and see where he's, he's hiding. All right, looks like he's hiding here. I don't know that we're going to have time in this video to go through the whole, the whole ruin. So, I tell you what, let's pick another quick kind of little quest thing. Okay, here's a good one. Hired Muscle. This is from the Companions quest line. And the reason we want to dip into the Companions quest line, we, we need to start getting them as our friends because we need to take Ayala and use her as an archery trainer to get our archery up. I believe she can take us all the way up to level 90, maybe even above that. So let's go ahead and do this mission and then we can actually go back to the companions and we can see if she'll train us because now that we've leveled up we can take advantage of another five levels of training and I believe we have the money to do that. So let's go ahead to Riverwood and intimidate Orgnar. All right, here we are, here we are outside of Riverwood. We just need to find Orgnar and punch him in the face. Looks like he's in the tavern. Oh, excuse me. Can you get out of my way, please? All right, here he is, Orgnar. Let's intimidate him. I'm just a cook, lass. Yo, I've been sent to resolve a dispute. Oh, actually, before we do that, how about I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Yes. All right, kill the bandit leader at Halted Stream Camp. Sweet, we can do that. Get another perk point. Oh, and by the way, I've been sent to resolve a dispute. You can't scare me into submission. Let's go. Come on. Oh, let's yeah, let's go. We gotta go into first person for this shit. Here we go. Come on. Oh, we're just gonna keep punching him. Just keep punching him. Now, as soon as he goes down... Oh, one more punch should do it. All right, now let's talk to him. You're tougher than you look. You got me. Fair and square. That's right. You know what you have to do. Fine, I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. Awesome. All right, let's return to Farkas. Let's train with Ayala, and maybe we can go kill that bandit leader and get another perk point. All right, let's fast travel back to White Run. All right, back here in White Run, let's go up to the companions, find Ayala, and she can train us in archery. All right, sometimes Ayala's hiding out here in the back, and sometimes she's inside, so I don't see anyone out back here. Let's go ahead inside and try and find her. All right, going back into first-person mode. Let's look around at the table. I don't see her. I see Skewer. Here's Vilkus. All right, here's Farkas. I don't know that I want to talk to him right now. 
I really want to find Ayala. All right, we're down in the living quarters. There's Nadja, there's Tor, what the hell, to Torvar. All right, this, I think this is her room and she's not in here. Shit, is she back here with the old man? She is not, she's not in his bedroom. That would be really creepy. All right, is she over here somewhere? Damn it, where is she? Has anyone seen Ayala? Anyone? Damn it. Let's go back upstairs. Do 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 do. Could somebody please tell me where Ayala is? Oh, I see her. There she is. Hey, watch what's what up? Watch what you're doing. What? No, you watch what you're doing. I've heard you may actually be stronger than you look. Yeah. Perhaps we can hunt together someday. Yeah, perhaps. Can you train me to be what? Well, can you train me in archery? I'll show you what I know. Sweet. All right, archery is now up to 75. We have trained five levels. Let's talk to Farkas real quick. How you doing, buddy? Skior says that I have the strength of Ysgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. Okay, well, I took care of the problem in Riverwood. You seem to have a knack for this kind of thing. I'll make sure people in charge know. Sweet. Okay. See ya. Until next time. All right. All right, so look, that's all you have to do with the companions. Now we can use Ayala as a trainer, which is perfect. We can also use Farkas, Vilkas, Nadja, and if somebody else who trains, yeah, and whoever else trains in the companions, we can use all of them. Light armor, I think blocking, heavy armor, two-handed, uh, archery. You can train in all that stuff now. All you have to do is like the very first quest with the companions. So anyway, uh, look, let's end out this episode by getting another perk point. Let's go kill the bandit leader at the Halted Stream Camp. All right, Halted Stream Camp is located here, but we are going to fast travel to Silent Moon's camp and then walk our way over. All right, here's Silent Moon's camp. Now we just need to walk over to Halted Stream Camp. Uh-oh, there's somebody up here. Who is that? That looks like one of those crazy wizard people. You know what? I don't like her. We are going to shoot her with our bow. Oh my god. Sneak attack. A banned fire witch. Wow. Alright, let's get the... Hey, whoa. Look at these guys. What's up? Yep. See ya. Bye. Bye, Felicia. All right, let's stop screwing around. Let's go to the Halted Stream Camp. All right, it's now daytime, and we are on our way to the Halted Stream Camp to punch some bandits in the face. Another beautiful morning here in Skyrim. All right, sneaky sneak mode. There's Halted Stream Camp right up here. Here's what I'd like to do. I would love to turn invisible and go right up to the gate and cast the Frenzy Ward right in front of the gate so when all the bandits come rushing out, they kill each other. All right, so we got invisibility and we have our frenzy ward or frenzy rune. All right, we are invisible. All right, here we go. Cast the frenzy ward or rune right here. There it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, they are attacking each other. <laughs> yes, that is awesome. All right, let's prepare. Let's go invisible again. Oh, we are going to spam our stone flesh. Oh, look, they are just beating the shit out of each other. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, oh, shit. Okay. All right, retreat. All right, so this uh, Shadow Warrior perk in the stealth tree doesn't really work unless you're far away so we're gonna run far away all right, let's see if that works all right so basically you gotta run far away damn it he still found me maybe it's not that great of a perk all right time to frenzy your ass all right frenzy these guys frenzy these guys and then we'll run away. We'll kind of hide. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. Now they're attacking each other again. While they're doing that, you know what? Let's go ahead and spam our oak flesh. All 
Gotta get that alteration up. Now let's get out our bow. We can start picking these bitches off. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, I missed him. Oh, God, we got the dog. Whoops. All right, you want to see what I got? Here, how about an arrow in the face? That's what I got. All right, well, that was pretty cool. It didn't go perfectly as planned, but it was pretty fun to watch. And all these people killed themselves. All right, let's go ahead inside. And let's kill this bandit leader. You picked a bad time oh, crap, lost, what? <gasps> oh, there's still one up there. All right. Hey, look. I want to try and reason with you. Ow. All right. Let's spam Oak Flesh. Let her hit us with her arrow. It'll raise up our light armor skill and our alteration will increase. Now we can hit her with a little bit of wither. There we go. And she'll be a little bit weaker. All right. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up my bow. I'm going to shoot you in the face. Oh, here's a fun one. Hail Shadow. All right, so she'll be attacked by one of her own shadows. Oh, there, look. See, it creates a shadow. There's her shadow. Oh, she killed it. It creates a shadow that attacks the person. Let's get her again. There we go. Oh, but the shadow only has like one health, so... Basically, it's just a distraction. And while she's distracted with her own shadow, we can slip away in the shadows. Which isn't working. Oh, sweet! Her shadow killed her! Aha! That is awesome. Boy, I love illusion spells. Alright, now let's go inside here and kill this bandit leader. Alright, we are in sneaky sneak mode. All right, now this guy's sitting here. He's going to be an easy kill for us. And well, we're going to piss him off so we can spam our alteration. Actually, we are just going to kill him. Just, oh my goodness. He gone. Wow, that's a cool Nordic shield he's got. I like the way that looks. All right, so we got the key from him. Let's go down here. I have got a plan. Here's the plan. I'm going to cast the rune, the frenzy rune here at the top of these steps. Then I'm going to go invisible. And then I'm going to shoot this fire thing. Or maybe I'll shoot the fire pitcher. The f I'll shoot this fire thing up here. It'll go down and light everybody on fire. Then I'll cast the frenzy rune here. Then I'll turn invisible. Oh, this is going to be a hoot. Ready? Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and get that frenzy rune in our hand. A little bit of stone flesh too. Cast the frenzy rune. Cast some stone flesh. Now we'll cast invisibility. <laughs> They're gonna hit the frenzy rune. They're gonna start killing themselves. Oh my, is that it? Get the hell out of town. Uh, he hit the frenzy rune and it dropped a fire bowl on his head. That was way easier than I thought. I mean, geez. Everybody's dead. Let's check out this chest up here. Look at this. A scroll of conjure craft lord calls a Dwemer sage to Nern for 180 seconds. Modify its stats with the reconfigure craft lord spell. What the hell does that even mean? I don't know. We can sell it. Everything else in here kind of sucks. Take all these potions, and the gold, and the ale. All right, let's get the hell out of here and get back to Dragon's Reach and turn into this bounty. All right, back to Dragon's Reach we go. All right, here we are, Dragon's Reach. Let's go collect that bounty point perk. Oh, I love this interior lighting mod. It really is good. That smoke looks great. The lighting in here looks really cool. All right, where is Preve- Here he is. Hey, prevented it to this. What's up, buddy? Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Yeah, I don't I don't know why you keep saying that, but the bandit leader at Halted Stream Camp is dead. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Thank you. Here is your reward. Thank you very much. Alright, another hundred gold. 
Enjoy your visit to All right, and more Beach. importantly, we got a perk point. All right, here it is. Where are we going to put it? Oh, it would be great if we had four more levels of alteration. We could put it into a second level of magic resistance. We could put it into quick shot, drawing a bow 30% faster. But honestly, until we get archery up closer to level 100, when we can get the bullseye perk, we really don't want to waste a perk point on this right now. All right, we have all the perks that we need in the sneak skill tree, so we don't want to put our perk anywhere in there. But I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put this in enchanting. We're going to start going up the middle of this tree here. So there's one. An insightful, enchanter, insightful enchanter skill enchantments on armor 25% stronger. So now we just need two more perk points to get us up to extra effect. And that is what we are going to do in the next episode. We are going to continue the Dark Brotherhood quest line. We are looking awesome. Yeah, in the next episode, we're going to try and get those two other perk points. We're going to continue with the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Uh, we have to find Elaine Dufont. So here's the temperature. She is level 40 and we are climbing fast. We're getting towards the end of this build series. Uh, once we get our smithing up to 100, we're going to get that uh, Royal Daedric Armor on, which is light Daedric Armor. It looks badass. She's going to have her endgame armor. We're going to give her her endgame weapons. Uh, we're going to get Master Illusion spells. So she is going to have all the equipment that she needs to keep going throughout the game and uh, we'll end the series there and leave it up to you guys to you know keep going with the build uh, usually I take these builds in these build series up to about level 40 45 something like that and then we end the series uh, I'm excited to move on to the next series that I have in mind and I really appreciate you guys being with me on this journey uh, it is a ton of fun uh, playing this character and I hope you guys are having fun with this series and uh, thanks for the support don't forget if you like the video hit the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers and hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out on the channel and uh, thanks a lot for your support and thanks a lot for letting me be a part of your day it means a lot to me and I'll see you in the next video.